piece of paper. We have a crayon. I'm gonna use white, he's going to use black, and then we're going to start picking some of our leaves. So we're going to be putting them underneath our paper. You wanna make sure the vein side is facing up so you can feel all those lines. And then you're gonna put it right underneath. So you're gonna decide where you want them to go. And then I like to use broken crayons without the wrapper, holding them like this, and then you go right over the top. So you can't really see mine because it's white, but you will be able to see this. Go ahead. So you'll notice that the, the veins are gonna start popping out. So we don't wanna do that. We just want to make sure it's flat, so it's flat. So now you're gonna pick another leaf on another part of my paper. Mine's like invisible. Yeah, hers is invisible. So pick another leaf. Make sure it has really good veins. If not, pick a different one. See how it pops out. Sometimes it's hard and I need a partner to help you hold it down. Get your mom and dad to help. Yes. Especially if you have a, a back good. I'm not doing too good here. <laughs> I haven't done this since I was in second grade. <laughs> it's okay. So we're just gonna go with it. So it'll look really cool when we add some paint to it. I feel like the second one is gonna be my best. Maybe use that one again. If you find one that works really well, you can use it over again. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Ready for the second part. So make sure you go all the way to the top. There you go. That looks good. Okay. So if you need to do it again, you might want to do it a second time because you learned the first time and you're ready to go for the second. Yeah, so we're gonna get another piece of paper. <laughs> paper. It's money on paper. Okay, so now we I have his paper that was redone and my mystery paper. No idea what's on there because it's white <laughs> on white. You picked the bad paper. Yeah, so this is gonna be an experience for, for sure. For I don't Shelby. know what's gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen. So we'll yeah. see. But we are going to start with a paintbrush. Um, I would use a little bit thicker of a paintbrush. We're using watercolors, so you have to make sure you get your paintbrush wet. We don't want to splash our water, so stop that. We're gonna make sure it's wet though. So we're gonna start with warm colors. Do you have any idea what a warm color is? No, I don't think so, no. No idea. So if you were to think of fire, which colors would remind you of fire? Orange or yellow. Yeah, orange, yellow, and it's also gonna be red. Okay. So we're gonna start with these three colors. So and then we'll move on to three more and then two. Yes, so we're actually only six all together. But we're gonna start with red, orange, and yellow. So you can go ahead. We're gonna make sure we have water on our brush. Which one? I use orange. We're gonna use all three. We're gonna mix them so it doesn't really matter. You need to make sure you get it on your brush. And there's still um, quite a bit of water on there. So if yeah, you notice... Yeah, you might want to use a partner to help you out if you want. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do just the leaves. So you can see your leaves. I can't see my leaves very well, so, so I'm So you're just going to die. I can kind of see... Um, the edges. Yeah, so I'm just going to go right over. So we want to do... So you're going to do your whole leaf, so... I'm gonna try to find the edges of my leaf. Do you see what's happening? Do I just wanna get like this? Yeah, so you're gonna go over the whole thing. My mystery paper. What's happening with my crayons, do you see? Yeah. You see the white popping out? 
So do I just want to go over the whole thing? So you're going to do the whole thing. So see how the black is popping out? Yeah. So you can go ahead and mix some colors. I'm going to wash my brush. So I can mix them? So your three warm colors, yeah. So you can... Bear with me because I haven't done this since second grade. So why do you think the crayon is popping out? Do you know why? Because of the leaf, it's thicker, so we got the thick edges, which has the thick edges come out. Kind of. Do you know what um, a crayon is made out of? Wool. It starts with a W, yeah. You know? Wax. Wax. So it's waxy, right? So can you ever mix water with wax? Yes. No, you can't, you won't. So that's why the crayon pops out. I may have done it too lightly. I probably could have pressed harder with my crayon. Do you want me to do it lightly? Or should I do it harder? You're okay. Thank you. So you can go to the next leaf. So you're just gonna keep doing your warm colors on your leaf. I'm gonna be bob wash it. I'm not gonna say I love the white crayon. Maybe I like the black crayon better. Also watch Bob Ross, he's good. Bob Ross is awesome. <laughs> Maybe a better painter than us this time. Yeah. I just love the sweet sound of him whacking his paintbrush against that little thing. <laughs> that was a good sound. So if you add more water, it'll be a little bit lighter. It might go a little smoother. That one looks really good. So you could add a little bit of orange paint to it. I can't even tell. <laughs> what's what is a mystery? Yeah, that what's that's what makes it a mystery. Shall we pick the bad color? Mm -hmm. Do mine, okay? You gotta follow mine. It's kind of fun because you know it is a mystery, but I mean, yeah, but so I'd say go with black. Yeah, because you can see it. So you want to make sure you can see it. I'm just gonna keep going until you get all your leaves. Do your dream, people. Just if you wanna do it, do Maybe. This, this would be part three, right? So part three. So we did crayon, we did warm water colors, and now we're gonna do the opposite. Do you know what it's called? What's the opposite of warm? Uh, okay, cold. Cold, so the it's color. cool. So for um, in the art world, we have our warm colors and we have our cool colors. So we have green, blue, and violet, or purple. Yeah, so, whichever. Yeah, so we're gonna be using those three for the background. So in the background of our leaves, we're gonna go ahead and add our cool colors. You ready? Yep. Okay, let's and see. just make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yes. Okay. We will be doing other videos. Other, maybe they'll go better than this one, and maybe I'll choose black crayon instead. Yeah. So what do we want to do? We want to get the outside of them? The outside, so any of the background. Okay. I like to do, you know how I, I paint usually, I go I go around them first. I do the hot pot first, I go around them, and then I do the others, and then I just go on the outside. Mm -hmm. I go right around them first. That way I don't have to worry about me accidentally getting them. So if you mess up, you can always kind of soak some up. Yeah, I would use a paper towel and then bring your paper towels in here. <laughs> Oops. Messed up.
Yeah. I've never seen like a white clam before because it basically does nothing. Mm. I don't think anyone in my family but you has ever used a white clam. Because <laughs> people don't really That's use it. That's a new use for it. I think I had some right there. Some leaves that I traced. Oops. Also, don't press too hard down. You gotta make sure you get all the sides of the um, paintbrush. Like the black, I think it turned out really good. Well, now we know. Use black more. I'm gonna use pink purple over the lip. I like to use the extra um, pieces of. I like to use the extra paint, that way I'm not wasting all the paint. Yeah. So I use the extra, like the very, like, the ones that have, like, water in them still. Mm -hmm. I just go over that and then use it. If there's, like, spaces where it's a lot of water, you can literally just take it. That way you don't have to waste your water. Mm -hmm. You don't like wasting paint. What's your favorite color? Out of all of this, I gotta say green. Green, still your favorite? Yeah. Would you have liked it better if you had green leaves? Yeah. I guess you could do the opposite. You could do cool colors in the leaves and warm colors in the background. I think I got too much paint right there. That's okay. It looks good. What do you think? I think it's good. Good. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's good. Good, you wanna show them? Here's mine, I use the white crayon. I don't love it. I think it looks a little bit better with the black crayon. That way you can see the outlining. It pops out a little bit more. It looks more like a leaf. Um, so I think if you were to do that at home, maybe use a black crayon. But it is kind of fun. You get some secret kind of lines that pop up with the white crayon. Um, we talked about a few things, so I'm going to quiz you. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so we have two different types of colors. Do you remember what colors we use for the leaves? Red, orange, and yellow. Do you know what they're called? The... Purple. Purple. What's the opposite of cool? Warm. Warm. So if you think of fire, um, you might think of these colors. I, fire is warm, so you might think of red, orange, and yellow. Okay. And then on the opposite end, we have what we use in the background. What kind of colors are those? Those were the cool. Cool colors. So what three colors are the cool colors? Green, purple, and blue. Yes. Yeah, very good. So we have warm and cool colors. Um, and then we used um, what is called a wax resist, actually. We used a crayon. And why does a crayon pop out? Do you remember? Against the watercolor. Yeah. So tough one. Because of wax. Because of wax. So the wax resisted the water. They don't mix. So, very cool. You did good. Good job. Do you love it? Yes. All right. Um, what do you like, like the video and subscribe. Yeah, there you go. You heard it. Do it. Do it. That's it. All right, you want to say adios? Adios. Adios, avocados. Bye. Bye. Zoom up on the leaf. Zoom up. You're going to see it. And these are all colors. Just going to let you know that. You need to use these colors. Beautiful colors.